Hello, everybody. Um, this is DFS Chan um, coming to you to talk about today's uh, six games late tonight. Uh, it's the MSI Rumble stage. Um, it's very exciting. Um, so six teams um, have made it out of the group stage uh, for the tournament. That is T1. RNG, G2, EG, Saigon Buffalo, and PSG. Uh, I, I apologize, my camera is not working today for some reason, but I'll make sure to get it fixed um, by this weekend. But so, it, yeah, so, but I'm sharing my screen here to uh, show you guys what six games are on today's slate. <clears throat> Um, how I see it, at least from, you know, watching the group stage, um, th this is my power rankings after the group stage. Um, so T1 has taken care of business and their group playing against more um, stronger opponents, in my opinion, um, like against TFM and Saigon Buffalo. They had a really tough like tougher group than let's say RNG and then G2, I think, and their groups. Um, I know T1 is in group, was in group A, RNG was in group B, G2 was in group C. They finished first respectively. Um, but T1 had a tougher um, group to get out of and T1 took care of business by finishing 6-0. and And then RNG and G2, they all were undefeated as well um in their group stages um so that that was very impressive to me so these three teams are clearly the top three in my opinion in the tournament so far and they should you know win games um against the weaker opponents down here the last bottom three uh, that are in they're left in the tournament So anyway, apologize, I'm sneezing. Um, yeah, and then so and then the fourth spot, fifth spot, in my opinion, is between Saigon Buffalo and EG. Sorry, allergies. But yeah, Saigon Buffalo and EG. I think are four and five, probably. And then I was not very impressed with PSG. I know PSG has been playing a little bit better later in the group stage. But um, I think it PSG really goes as the mid lane goes. Their mid laner, I think Bay, um, has been very inconsistent. <laughs> He's been, he's a very passive player, in my opinion, and which does not really fit well with the current meta. So I think PSG will struggle, in my opinion, um, against teams with uh, good mid laners. Um, so that's probably how I'm going to approach it, uh, games against PSG. But yeah, so Saigon, Buffalo, and EG are probably the interesting debate, in my opinion, and they're playing against each other tonight. So that's probably where the biggest edge or analysis will take uh over in my opinion for the slate so let's just dive into the uh matchups today i think but ultimately i think eg will prevail in my opinion and then make it into the top four um top four teams will make it to the final semifinals so really two teams will just left be left off um from you know from the rumble stage it's kind of like a round robin format um each team will play two games every day um, against all all the other teams. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how they fare up against each other. So, so yeah, without further ado, let's dive in. Um, the first matchup is T1 versus G2. Uh, first of all, it's going to be a banger. Um, both teams have been playing pretty well. Um, I know G2 has been playing well, but they played against EG and then Team Order um, in their group, which is not the best, <laughs> um, you know, like, 
uh, you know, measurement tool to kind of gauge as to how good they are because EG and um, Team Order are not the best teams, my, in my opinion. So I think G2 stats are kind of inflated um, and overrated probably. Um, so I think I fully expect T1 to win, but I can definitely see a uh, scenario where G2 can pull this off. Um, T1 has been a little shaky and they've been trying some new things over the last couple of weeks um, where I think G2 can kind of expose T1 in that regard especially in the bottom lane. I know Gumayushi and then Karia struggled against Saigon Buffalo that one game. Um, and Saigon Buffalo kind of provided, um, you know, teams like G2 a way to maybe expose T1's bottom lane, I think, at times, um, and especially in the early game. So as long as the bottom lane does okay, um, for T1, which I believe they will. I think I'm not scared. I'm not that scared of G2. G2's bottom lane, in my opinion. G2 does not have the strongest bottom lane. I think their main strength lies with Caps in the mid lane and then Yankos and then Broken Blade in the top lane. So really, I think T1 should take care of business here, in my opinion. I don't know if I'll play any G2. We'll see. Because they're they're they have tough matchups today against T1 and RNG, so um, and then EG versus RNG, yeah, RNG will win. Sorry, that's it. <laughs> EG has not shown me anything really that uh, impressive. Um, I know they have played well. Um, at times against G2, but they still ended up ended up losing. Um, but they look pretty good against Team Order. Um, but against RNG, that's gonna be a whole another competition. Um, so I think RNG should win. And then PSG versus Saigon Buffalo. Um, like I said, I'm not that impressed with uh PSG. So I think Saigon Buffalo wins, but PSG can upset as well. Well, I guess that's not an upset. Um, because PSG is favored technically, but PSG can definitely win. So I think Saigon Buffalo can pull this off though. So G2 RNG. Yeah, I mean, this is where it gets interesting. I think I think G2 can definitely pull this off as well. Just like I said about T1, G2 has been playing pretty well. Um I think RNG still wins. I think, but G2 can definitely win. But then I don't, I just do not see G2 winning two games, like both games for them to be in the optimal lineup, right? So I don't know how much I will have G2, right? So I think that's the most important thing going up against T1 and RNG. I mean, can G2 win both games? I don't know. I mean, I think the likelihood of that happening is very low. Um, so I don't know how much G2 I'll have. Low exposure to G2. Toughest spot today versus T1 and RNG. So all right, and then Saigon Buffalo. Versus EG. Yeah, this is interesting. Like I said, I think this is top four or five spots here. I think EG will ultimately prevail and make it to the top four, in my opinion. Um, but Saigon Buffalo does definitely has the potential to pull this off. Um, I know EG is favored, which I understand. Um, I think EG can definitely win. I'm going to go with EG wins. As long as the bottom lane does not get blown up by Danny and Vulcan, I think EG should win this game against Saigon Buffalo, even though Saigon Buffalo has been very explosive in their team fights and everything. I think EG knows how to handle that. Um, as long as the bottom lane, like I said, does not give up an early advantage to Saigon Buffalo's bottom lane, I think EG should win this, I think, you know, with impact and inspired um, in the top half of the map. I think they should win this, but but 
Saigon Buffalo can definitely win this one. And then last matchup of the slate is PSG versus T1, where I think T1 should win. So I'm not going to have that much PSG. Um, Low exposure to, to G2, low exposure to PSG. So that leaves me with T1, RNG, maybe Saigon Buffalo. And low exposure to EG. Uh, although, like, EG has... So, Saigon Buffalo does have have high kill upside and combined kills per minute. So, whoever plays against them, and then Saigon Buffalo themselves have high kill upside. Like, PSG and EG today um, have, you know, favorable matchups in terms of kill upside. So, I think that's interesting. But I don't think PSG will win both games. Um, so that leaves me with EG. So maybe not EG. I'll leave EG here. I could see EG playing EG um, for GPP, I think. T1, RNG, SGB, and EG. So low exposure to G2, low exposure to PSG. So yeah, that's probably where I'm at right now. Um, but anyway, so yeah. Um, that's my prediction. And like I said, my ultimate prediction, my ultimate uh, semifinal prediction out of the Rumble stage would be T1, RNG, G2, and then EG, I think. Saigon Buffalo has shown me some explosive, like I said, uh, tendencies where they can definitely upset a uh, you know, game or two. Um, so EG can struggle against that. But like I said, I, I fully believe that Danny and Vulcan will fare okay against Saigon Buffalo. Um, so that's why I have EG in the fourth spot. Um, so in, anyway, so yeah, that's all I got for you guys today. Um, if you guys, you know, have any questions on specific uh, uh, players or specific um, plays, um, rather, um, please let me know. Feel free to reach out to me on Discord or YouTube, Twitter at DFS Chan. Um, but, you know, really, I would just look at their kill participation percentage and kill share percentage and kind of go from there. Um, but like I said, um, Saigon Buffalo have a high kill upside and combined kills per minute. So I think that's an interesting one. And then T1 um, as well has been uh, pretty bloody um, for the most part. So I think that's interesting as well. So I'll definitely have a lot of T1 here today. Um, and then maybe their opponents, but PSG, I'm not that interested. I'm not that interested in G2. So I think that just leaves me with T1, a lot of T1. And then, you know, between RNG, SGB, and then EG. So, uh, yeah. So good luck, everybody. I'll probably have another video in a day or two um, to see, uh, to kind of update you how the, each team is, uh, each team's day has been going. Um, but yeah. Let me know if you have, have any questions. Have a good one. Bye.